everyone, so welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. Yes, I said that like last video, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to stop saying that. Um, but in order for me to try to stop saying that, I'm gonna have to film frequently, right? So anywho, welcome to my October favorites. Insert glamour music now. But anywho, um, so yeah, it's October and it's like the end of October and it's time to film my October favorites. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? We shall. First and foremost, my nails. Um, this one I was very skeptical about. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my nails are press-ons. I don't know if it's obvious. I hope not. Um, but yeah, my nails are freaking press-ons. At my job, I'm very vigorous when it comes to my hands, and a lot of times my nail polish just pretty much wears off. It chips. My nails pretty much break because like I'm literally punching boxes. I know that sounds really bad. Um, I'm too lazy to look for a box cutter. No, but I got time for that when you have like a four thousand piece truck. Okay. But yeah, these are the Bring the Salon Home Kiss Nails Kit. I will probably do a close-up of these because obviously I'm a little far away from the camera right now, so I'll do a little close-up later on. You can find these nails at like CVS or Walgreens um, or online. Uh, you can find anything online nowadays. Um, these are the Gel Fantasy ones, and these actually have like the more, what's it called? fall colors. I'm not sure if it's like a specific line from them. The length specifically is the short length. I don't like my nails to look like Rachita nails, okay? Um, not saying that long nails are ratchet. I'm just saying like I can't really, I don't do that. Like this is long enough for me. You know, this looks short or like long. But these are the short nails, so I'm okay I'm with that. I want to some skincare. It wouldn't be, oh. Am I focusing? Am I going out of focus? What's going on there? On to some skincare. It wouldn't be my type of video if I had not shown any skincare in this video. So, this one really surprised me. This is the Sephora Collection Triple Action Cleansing Water for Face and Eye. It looks like just the water or it looks like a toner, but my cellar water like has been coming up this past year and I am super on board. I don't know where have I been because this thing literally takes off like all my makeup and y'all know I work or I wear makeup pretty much like heavy sometimes not sometimes maybe almost all the time because again I'm a freelance MUA I do work for a beauty industry so, or in the beauty industry so my makeup can get a little cakey let's be real but this takes it a lot like a lot the next one I have here sorry if I keep moving my legs are like I'm kneeling so I'm kind of like trying to get off them when they're like super Die, dead. See, I'm like, I just keep moving. Um, anywho, so this is the Caudalie Micellar Water, um, Micellar Cleansing Water. This is amazing for sensitive skin. Um, uh, my skin, as you all know, if you follow me on every social media platform, I always talk about that I have sensitive skin or reactivity when it comes to, um, skincare or new skincare, but this is a great alternative when it comes to micellar water or if you want something that ha is more natural or organic per se. So it does have organic grape water and chamomile so it's very soothing for the face and this one is a little bit more, um, it's double the price we compared to the Sephora one. This is 28 but I feel like it's completely worth it. I really do. I really love this one too. Um, by far I think I might like this one more than the Sephora one. But myself, ooh, just hit my face. Did y'all see that? Um, but by far this one has been my favorite compared to the Sephora one. But they're both of my favorites because my cellar water in general has been like, it's in my like back pocket. I don't know. It's something that I always need. This one, I was like skeptical about using this one. I'm like, uh, oh, whatever. My mom uses Lancome. You know, your grandma uses Lancome skincare. And I'm just like, eh, I don't really... I wasn't really the type to be like hooked on anti-aging stuff until now. You know, you hit your quarter life crisis and then every year it just it goes down. Your beautiful, youthful skin starts to decrease or decrease what? Deplete. Deplete, that's the word. Anywho, this is the Lancome Advanced Genifique uh, Youth Activating Concentrate. So it's basically a serum that I use both AM and PM. This has changed my skin. Oh, maybe, yeah, I want to say dramatically because if you saw my previous, like, videos, my skin has so much texture from my acne and from, you know, I still have 
texture here and there uh, but again like I mentioned it literally calmed down my skin from all that gross bumpiness that I had previous um, I want to say like three months ago my skin was at its worst so this has helped me so 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 much and uh, I mean it's very pricey I think this size is like I don't know 69 no, yeah I think this is like 69 and the larger one above this is like 99 but hey it does wonders and I've been using it for the past month I believe yeah for the past month and it's still there's still a good amount in there, so it's well worth it to me. It's, this is the Hourglass Veil Mineral, is it Mineral Veil Primer? It says Veil Mineral Primer. I forget, like, this is how long ago I've used it. I forgot what it's called. But yes, it's the Veil Mineral Primer. I love this stuff. This literally is amazing. Basically, anyone who has acne prone skin, who has texture on their face, whose skin is slightly sensitive, I highly suggest this primer. This primer is amazing. 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 Okay? Um, literally, I mean, it's $52 amazing, or maybe more than that, I forget. But it's, ugh, you guys, it's just by far the only primer that hasn't, like, really broken me out, or the only primer that really loves my skin, or my skin loves. Yeah, this foundation is pretty pricey. I believe it's like $48 or something like that. Um, but it's the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. It's the Vanish Stick, I believe it's called. The Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. Yes. Uh, this is like, honestly, I feel like this has the Mineral Veil Primer. Or the Veil Primer, Veil Mineral Primer from Hourglass, like, in it. I don't know. Ugh. I actually really love this. This is suggested for those who have more oily skin, uh, normal to oily skin. Maybe if you're dry, you can still try to pull it off um, by wearing a different type of primer underneath. But I love this stuff. It's like a buildable coverage, so it does give you medium um, medium coverage. But of course, if you want to build up a little bit more, you're more than welcome to. It doesn't feel cakey if you apply more. It honestly feels like my skin's being smoothed out as I'm applying this foundation. Could be the primer underneath that I'm using, neither Hourglass product, but I freaking love this foundation. Okay, you guys, Hourglass is getting like a big shout out out here. So Hourglass, if you're watching, you know, I actually pay for your products. <laughs> yeah, like this is, <laughs> okay, I love this so much. This is the Radiant Bronze Light, um, pretty much the ambient lighting bronzer. I hate, I don't know why these are like tongue twisters to me, it's just really hard to say them. But this is in the color Radiant Bronze Light. Pretty much your bronzer. And those of you who are, don't ever do that, your palette is registered. I just totally blew on it, so I unhygienic. But, um, if any of you, look at that, I have pen. If any of you are familiar with the Hourglass powder products, then you know how super buttery smooth they are. I freaking love it. Loved it to the point, or love it to the point where it's completely hit pan. But it's so pricey, I'm not really sure if I want to purchase another one. I just gotta, you know guys, the reason why I'm not going to repurchase these things, these things, because I have plenty of makeup to go through. So, you my dear, I will hold off on you for now. But if any would like, anyone would like to get me this for Christmas, then yes, please. I'm wearing it currently right now. It just gives me a beautiful, flawless finish. Again, it has that smoothing finish that I love because, again, I have texture on my skin. So, this is amazing. Amazingly expensive. All right, y'all. The Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer has changed the game for me when it comes to concealers. I love the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer, and by far that's the only concealer that I've like. That was my ride or die, ride or die, my ride or die, the bare skin one. It's like 20 bucks for it, and it works. It works differently. Let's be real. It's very hydrating. So compared to my Makeup Forever Full Cover, they're completely opposite in like finish wise but I set my foundation or like everything with the powder anyway so it kind of gives out the same thing but this is a medium golden in case anyone is wondering I use this for all my spots my acne spots and because it's not drying it actually makes my acne look a little more healthy if that makes any sense um, it doesn't look as dry my I mean I love looking matte uh, but 
this pretty much gives me a beautiful finish to my face. Like, it, I don't know. I feel like whatever ingredients are in here are helping with my acne. I'm just saying. I just really love this. And for the price, yeah, I'm going to repurchase. Highlighters. Yes, highlighters. I own plenty. But the one that has been changing the game for October, or for the past, since Coachella, actually. I've been using this since, uh, since Coachella, back and forth with my champagne pop. Um, is the Urban Declo. Declo! Urban Declo. <laughs> Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter in the color Sin. This is really hard to find sometimes in Sephora's, Sephora's. I can't talk. This is what happens when I don't film for very long. Um, I've already hit, like made that dip in this highlighter. It's currently what I'm wearing right now. Hopefully you guys can see it otherwise I wasted my money. But um, it doesn't have a mirror in it or anything but as you can see I've already hit that. It, it's that beautiful candlelit, candlelight color, uh, almost like a, a sh not champagne. Well, yeah, so yeah, champagne, yellow tone-ish. Oh my god. Y'all. Y'all, look what I just did. I totally just nicked it with my nails, my kiss nails, just now. Ugh, how irritating, but it's okay. I have a lot of highlighters. First world problems, it's not a biggie. But yeah, that's packaging, just in case you're wondering. This one is a new um, product to the game. This is actually the Tarte Tartis Clay Paint Liner, and this is the one that comes with a brush, and also it's in like a tube form, so it looks like a little tiny toothpaste. Um, I personally don't really use the brush that's in it. Um, I think I've used it like once or twice, but I love using angled ones for my wing liner. Of course, I'm not wearing this today, but I actually really do like this. This like, concept of it being in a tube and not having it in a pot where it can dry out is amazing. Really great for especially like freelance artists. That is a key thing to have like something as hygienic, especially in between clients. Um, but I also really loved the one that came in a pot from Tarte. I believe it was called just a clay liner, clay pot liner. That one I personally loved all as well. If not, I might like it as much as this one maybe even more but this one has actually been one of my favorites for the past month last but not least i have to give a shout out to nyx um not because they just featured me in their email or like their looks or their nyx community page but it's on my lips i mean i support them and they're a freaking amazing brand especially for people who can't afford the, not even, not even necessarily just can't afford, but just really love like those trendy looks. They make it really affordable for any clientele. Um, currently the one that I'm wearing on my lips is the Liquid Suede um, li Liquid Lipsticks in Brooklyn Thorn and it's that more muted, like mauve, not mauve, more like muted purple gray tone lip. My other favorite is the Downtown Beauty color, and those of you who know me, I love rocking the 90s lip. Not even just 90s lip, but I love rocking vampy lips and dark, dark lips, so this is like a perfect brown for me. I believe those go for like 7 8 bucks, so you can find them like in Ulta, you can buy them online for, um, from NYX. NYX has individual stores, so they're pretty much accessible to everyone. Alright, the last ones from NYX is the Cosmic Metals. <sighs> you guys, I really, really love these. They're metallic. Some of them have more of like that chunky glitter, which you actually cannot feel on your lips, um, which is the Galaxy one. Again, this one was the one that was featured on my... Um, not my, featured on NYX's website and in their email, so I did post a picture of it in my last video, so if you guys haven't seen my haul video, um, like my beauty haul video, it's pretty much the video right before this video. And then this one I just featured on my Instagram, it's actually the Speed of Flight metallic uh, color or metals, cosmic metals. Oh, I love this, you guys. This is amazing it's a beautiful like rose gold copper tone color uh, I love it so much it's super creamy um, so a little goes a long way don't apply too much because otherwise it's just gonna goop off your lips let's be real um, but it's just you guys they're so beautiful yeah so NYX like high five to you guys because these stuff these stuffs these lippies are amazing I really do really appreciate these 
lips. All right, guys, thanks so much for sticking around. It was a little bit more of a shorter or less product um, favorites video, but again, you know, I talk a lot, so there's reason why I gotta like shoot by them because otherwise I'll tell like my whole life story on one product, which probably happened in the video, let's be honest. I'll see you in my next video, whatever video that might be. Hopefully I get time to do a fall lookbook, especially because I went, sh I went crazy shopping recently for this specific reason. Um, well, of course, and because I wanted to buy new clothes, let's be honest. But um, it's been raining in the Bay Area, so we'll see how that works out. Alright guys, bye! Thanks so much for your support if you still are there for me. Bye guys!